In this problem, we're given a quadratic function, and we're being asked to find this expression here. This is called the difference quotient. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. This is actually a calculus problem in disguise, by the way. So if you ever take calculus, um, you'll do stuff like this probably on your first test. Okay, so the first step in these problems that I like to do is I like to write down the difference quotient again. So f of x plus h minus and then f of x and then it's all being divided by h. Okay, so just carefully write it down. And this is equal to so now you just have to figure out what this is, this, this f of x plus h. Well, let me do it up here. f of x is 2x squared plus x minus 3. So f of x plus h basically just means that you replace every x with x plus h. So it's 2, and instead of x, it's x plus h squared, and then plus, and then instead of x, it's x plus h, I don't know why I put it in parentheses, and then minus 3. So this whole thing here is the f of x plus h. So I'm going to write it down here in the problem. So 2x plus h squared plus and then x plus h minus 3. So we've only written down this piece here, which is f of x plus h. Then we have the minus. And then f of x. Well, what's f of x? That's what's given in the problem. So parentheses, really important, because it's three terms. 2x squared plus x minus 3. Really, really careful problem. And it's all being divided by really important. It's such a long line to draw. Uh, it's h. Okay, so this piece here, this first piece here, right here in yellow, is f of x plus h. And then um, this piece here is f of x. Okay. Um, so now we have to simplify this. So this quantity here, this x plus h squared, uh, let me just show you how to do that. Basically, it's just worth memorizing. So the way I memorize it is as follows. Whenever you have x plus h and it's squared, you square the first one. You multiply these and then you double it. So 2xh, just a formula, and then you square the last one. You could like work it out here in the problem, but it's such a mess because then you have to keep writing everything over and over again. Um, it's better just to memorize it. And then plus x plus h minus 3, and then distribute this negative 1 minus 2x squared and then negative 1 times x is minus x. Wow, ridiculous. Negative 1 times negative 3 is plus 3. So it's really long. It's all being divided by, all of this is being divided by h. I'm going to pick a brighter color. It's a little bit hard to see. So this is equal to, let's distribute this 2x, this 2 here. So 2x squared, that's that times that. That times that would be 4xh. 2 times 2xh is 4xh. And then 2 times h squared would be 2h squared. Anything happening here? Let's see. Oh, look, the x's go away. 3's go away. That's really good. Plus h minus 2x squared. That's all being divided by lowercase h. So this is equal to, let's see, oh look, the 2x squareds cancel, boom. So we have 4xh plus 2h squared plus h, and it's all being divided by h. We're almost there. At this point, everything in your numerator should have an h. Like if you have something that doesn't have an h, you messed up. So now we can pull out an h, let me do it below. So you can factor out an h from the top. So we have h parentheses, let's see, it looks like 4x. And then what's missing here, 2h, yeah, that'll work, right? h times 2h is 2h squared. h times 4x is 4xh. And then if we want to get an h, we just need a 1, right? Just a 1 all over h. And so this is equal to 4x 
plus 2h plus 1. And that would be the final answer. A lot of work. And if you're really curious, since if you're still watching this, you made it this far, at the beginning I said use this in calculus, right? So in calculus, the only thing you do, this is just fun, I mean, there's more stuff involved, it's pretty deep, but basically, like, the only thing you would do in calculus is you would make the h zero, and so you would just get 4x plus 1. <laughs> that's, like the, that's like the calculus step. So it's really the algebra that makes, you know, the calculus hard. That's why this stuff is, like, so, so good. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.